Hi, I'm Jonas Coronado, 21 from DGC. And I joined SM Youth Go See um, because growing up back in London, um, it's a whole different lifestyle. When you come to the age of your teens, you don't know what to do. And I came back here to kind of follow my dream and my passion. And I, I joined here obviously to make my mum proud, um, to make my five-year-old brother proud. And yeah, that's it. Hi, my name is Justin Lorena. I just, I just turned 20 last month and I'm from Palamba, Laguna. So I feel very nervous and for my expectations, I thought when I went to the room, I mean, 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 I cannot believe it's been a year since we won oh the SM Youth Go See, Kyle. And the winners of SM Youth Go See are Kyle Perry and Kyle Estrada. I can still remember, you know, patiently waiting for my interview. You know, I definitely had so much fun doing all the, the challenges. We were bonding with our, you know, fellow contestants and, and the SM Youth fam at the same time. Yeah. You have to admit though, we definitely missed this one. Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. You know, I cannot wait to meet all the 50 new finalists today. Uh, my name is Kyle Perry. And I'm Kyla. Uh, we are the winners of the first season of the SM Youth Go See. So during our journey with SM Youth, we've been traveling around the Philippines, enjoying the different festivals, and getting to meet and greet the SM Youth fans. Not to mention the great food that we always eat, yes. and all the great places <laughs> we stay at. And we were just like you guys, you know, sitting here last year. Yeah, exactly. A little nerve-wracking. Yeah. We know that yeah. you guys are all nervous, but just be yourself. Be confident and we can't wait to get to know each and every one of you. Last year, you've seen that all 100 of us were interviewed by the panel of ambassadors. But this year, there will be a twist. That's right, because only 30 of you will be making it to the final auditions this afternoon. And then from there, we will decide on the final 12 who will be officially competing in this year's SM Youth Go See. Instant portrait shots have been a standard process in the world of casting. It can make or break a model for major campaigns or shows. With the help of our friends from Fujifilm, we will be shooting you all with the Fujifilm Instax Wide 300 camera. The most important thing to take note is that we will only be giving each of you two frames each. So good luck guys, and the competition starts now. All right, three, two, one. Hi, I'm Mariah Joy, 18 years old from East Kenya City. I am still studying senior high school at Perpetua. Hi, Chelsea. Hi, Chelsea. When we were being shot by the Instax camera, I felt shocked. I felt nervous. I, I, of course, I wanted to see what I looked like, but I believe in myself. Like, when it comes out there, then that's it. Thank you. Hey, Sabrina. Hi, I'm Claudio Gutierrez and I'm 21 years old. I'm from Italy, but I'm half Filipino and I'm half Italian. Hey, what's up, man? Hi, how do I you pronounce your name? name? Macaulay. 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 Okay, cool. Right Dude, just loosey goosey, man. Just, yeah. Just do the Be Bernie confident. or something. Don't you just love his eyebrows? So prominent. Like, kind of reminds me of you a bit. Yo, fa. She's so tall. I love yeah. it. Danielle, hi, hi, how are you? I'm great. It was really cool to be shot by the Fujifilm Instax camera because it was quick, um, awesome, and the camera was really like vintage and like siya ng instant photo of me, diba? What's not cool about that? Ethan! Oh, thank hi. you. Hi guys, I'm Ethan Salvador. I'm 21 years old and I am from Las Vegas, Nevada, but I moved here to the Philippines. Three, two, one. I like your eyes. Hi, I'm Ariel Rosses. I'm 21 years old and I'm from Makati City. Pimiento Twins. Hey, what's up, guys? Twins! Yeah! And another side twins! Vinzon Twins. What's up, guys? <laughs> what's up, guys? One, two, three. 
So today we were able to meet the top 50. So we took their portrait shots using the Fujifilm Instax Wide 300 camera and each of them got two frames each and they had to make it really good during those two frames because that's what we used to deliberate and narrow them down to the top 30. Good job on the first challenge, guys. We will see you in a few moments to announce who will continue on in becoming the official finalists of this season. Well, good luck, guys. See you soon. Alright guys, are you ready to find out who will move on to the next round? Yes! Listen, are you guys ready to find out who will move on to the final auditions? Yes! Alright, now on this wall, you will find only 30 portraits. If you see your portrait, that means that you are moving forward. Get your Instax shot as it will be your key to enter the SM Youth Assembly Room. Here we go. In 3, 2, two 1. one. Go! Woo! Yeah! Hi, my name is Marco Suarez. I'm 21 years old and I'm from Montalupa City. Oh, so happy, so relieved, like the pressure of going up there and like, oh, it's overwhelming. Um, it's a, well, kind of sad though, but um, well, try it again next year, right? Of course, I was shocked at first. I was excited and at the same time nervous because well, the feeling that I'm gonna be part of this is gonna be, it's gonna be more challenging for me. Whew. Finally, season two of SM Youth Gosi. During the interview, we got to really get to know all these people, all these candidates, and they're all very, very different. Hi. Hi. Hello. Congratulations for making this far. Thank so, you. Please tell us something about you. Um, I'm Justin Lorena. I'm 20 years old, and I'm from Calamba City. Um, I make YouTube videos such as. Vlogging, visual diary, makeup tutorials, and lookbook. Oh, interesting. So, uh, excited po ako kasi marami ako makikilala na contestants from the internet and kinakabahan at the same time kasi competition to. So, kailangan ko rin galingan. So, what inspired you to really make YouTube videos out there? Is there something you're trying to represent or is it just for fun? For fun lang talaga. Kasi gusto ko matulungan yung ibang tao na i-embrace nila yung sarili nila para maging confident sila ganun. Nag-join ako kasi gusto ko talaga ma-inspire mga tao, lalo yung mga LGBT. Pati gusto ko pakita sa kanila na, you know, ako, like, belong doon, yeah. kaya ko mag-make ng difference. What would you say are your biggest strengths? I can be masculine and feminine at the same time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what what do you masculine. masculine. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 ako. Oh, pag feminine. Yeah. Yeah. So one last question. If you were an animal, what would you be? Animal? Bird. Because I'm free. I can fly anywhere I want. I don't need to be a bird. I can travel anywhere I want. Alright, so that was the end of the season. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. What I like most about someone is if they're genuine because People want to succeed, they try to please you, but you know they're just not being real. So that's what I kind of look out for. Hello. 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 Hi. Hi. Um, Hello. Please tell us about yourself. Okay. Hello. My name is Chelsea. I am 17. I am 5'8 tall. I am from Mekawayang, Bulacan. So what do you think is your advantage? Maybe, of course, my color. Because I've seen that the other contestants that they're light, they're they're fair, but I'm more like like dark skin, so I can stand out more, I guess. What what I mean, are you like what's your race? Are you pure Filipina? Or are you... No, my dad is Brazilian American. Wow. Uh, black American. And then my mom is Filipina. Alright, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. My game plan for today is just to have fun. We'll never know who makes it or who not. So it's always the first impression that you uh, interact with your friends. Hi, I'm Yelva de la Cruz, 18 years old from Malabon City. 
I was bullied due to my height, but fashion gave me confidence. How tall are you? 5'10". Wow, you're so <laughs> tall. And you're so gonna that's, grow fast. that's really good for modeling. Well, how's your how's your modeling experience been so far? I'm good and I'm having fun. How how long ago did you start modeling? Um one year. Oh yeah. yeah. So what would you say is your biggest strength? My strength is my height because it's not common in our country having the same height that I have. I wish I had your height. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too, yeah. You look like a supermodel in the making. Mm, thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you Paul. Thank you so Bye. Bye. So my name is Andre Lagdameo. I'm 18 years old and I really love spoken word poetry. Like that's really? one of my main main passions. Do you think uh, you can oh. give us a little something? Sure. Hey, I'm Andre. Hi, welcome to life, the world said. But it seemed like the complete opposite was the truth instead. You see, I was a youth of young age, but it seemed like my life was a big empty page. Like a song without the melody or cookbook without a single recipe. Eventually, I was left helplessly searching for a remedy, trying to find identity. And so I thought of nothing else but to give a desperate shout, I give up. And in that moment, I did surrender, but something unexpected happened. I was caught by a net, but it was so tender. The fisherman who caught me apparently caught me with a net of grace because I was taken out of a deep, dark space where the predators hunted prey and where the prey prayed that they would be saved. And amazingly, my prayer was answered. And it's all because the fisherman caught me. That's... Wow. Oh my God. That, was wow. that was good. Thank you. So that's basically my life in like poem form. I was nervous, of course. Like usually you get really nervous before the interview happens, but then during the process, it was a lot more relaxed. I felt pretty relaxed and confident. Hi, my name is Danielle Mortel. I am 20 years old and I'm from Santa Rosa, Laguna. Um, I'm actually finishing up my studies um, from the University of the Philippines, Diliman, taking up broadcast communication. And yeah, I hope that you will be able to see more of me. Hi. How are you feeling? I'm great. How are you? We're good. Good. <laughs> do you sing or, or do you dance? I can sing. If you want me to hear me sing. Actually, yeah. it's a requirement to dance. Okay. Fast. Yeah. <laughs> sing and dance. Okay. Hello? Okay. If I sing, you know Wicked? Of yeah. course. For good. So I'm going to sing for good I and dance at the same wicked. time. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. No, okay. I'll sing for good um, from Wicked. But I know I'm who I am today because I knew you. Like a comet pulled from orbit as it passes the sun. I'm dancing like a stream that meets a boulder in a distant wood. Who can say if I've been changed for the better? Because I knew you. Because I knew you, because I knew you, I have been changed <laughs> for good. Yeah. yeah there you go. Nice. Very you. good. Thank you. <laughs> so Danielle, what, Danielle, Danielle, right? Danielle. Yeah, Danielle. So why should you be the next SM Youth Ambassador? I should be the next SM Youth Ambassador because I am taking a chance, another chance. I gave up. I stood up and now I'm taking a chance, another chance. Um, I believe so much, like what I said in the video, I'm going to repeat it again and again. I believe so much in what the youth can do. There is in, in what the divide and breaking through the divide of the society that the youth can actually offer. And I think I have that spirit, the drive, and the energy to be that ambassador, to put forward the, forward the advocacies that the brand stands for. All right. Thank you so much. Thank, thank, you. thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Have fun. That was difficult because I know exactly how it feels to be sitting in the room with, full of other contestants. You know, the the feeling of the competition is there and you feel really nervous. And when we narrowed down to the top 30, which was the ones that we interviewed, they all did so well. I dreamed a dream in time gone by. When hope was signed, life worth living. I'm Shali Madeleine Vicencio from Malabon City. I'm 21 years old. 
super erotic kasi I love being on stage pero off cam I'm super awkward when it comes to alo, talking to people there was no ransom to be paid no some and some no wine on tasted thank you wow. thank you I feel like this is going to be a really tough competition cuz they're all really experienced. They're all mostly really confident and they really know what they're doing. Are you gonna sing too? Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh sweet. Wow. Gold jewelry shining so bright. Strawberry, I look on ice. Lucky for you, that's what I like. It's what I like. Lucky for you, that's what I like. It's what I like. Made by the fire at night. Silk sheets and diamonds, all white. Lucky for you, that's what I like. It's what I like. Lucky for you, that's what I like. That's what I like. Wow. So we'll our hands up like the ceiling can hold us. Like the ceiling can hold us. Hey, Trick. Oh. 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 Hey. Wow. Nice. Hi, I'm Mac, 19, and I live in Alabama. And uh, I just felt like as soon as I got on stage, like, all the nerves just went away, and it felt right. So who's next? So who's who do we have next? Oh! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Whoa! Oh. 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 Whoa. Can please you come please forward. Please come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Introduce Hello. yourself. I'm uh, Tommy Escara, 6'1", from uh, Long Beach, California. Do you dance? I can. Can you see you dance? <laughs> Let's see it. Um, Let's see it. You guys have a special song? Any song I could dance to? You can sing and dance to it. No, Oh, magic mic, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's great that some of these people, most of them are prepared. But again, just being prepared isn't everything. You have to have that reason behind it, you know? Not because just it would be cool to win, but because they want to win. That's, this is their next step that they're looking for in their life is this, you know? Hi, I'm Erica Christensen. I'm 20 years old and I reside in Manila. So what's your other half? Sorry? You said you're half Danish. Yeah, I'm half Danish and I'm half Filipino. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's good. Is yeah. that not all the <laughs> for you, Kyle? <laughs> Go on, not. <laughs> what would you say your style is? Um, my style is definitely leaning on the comfortable side. You know, like my, my typical outfit in a day is probably just ripped jeans or jeans and then sneakers and then, you know, like a statement shirt. And I feel like fashion and your lifestyle really need to go together. Okay, let's say, for example, me, I'm a go-getter. I really want to do a lot of things every day. And I can't do that. I can't accomplish the things that I want to if I go out and wear heels, you know? So I really feel like your lifestyle, your personality, and fashion really have to go together. Because it, for me, fashion is a statement. And I'm pretty sure you guys know that. So, um, yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank, Thank you so much, Erica. Thank you so much. It was nice meeting you guys. Nice meeting you too. See you later. Bye. See you. Bye. I was super nervous, and no one wants to see me nervous because I really like I don't know, lala. Like I break down, but I wasn't really expecting much anymore. Like you know, I just made sure that I did my best so that even if, let's say, they didn't call me, like, I know that I did my best and there's no regret. Hello? Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Hi, I'm Jonas Coronado. Um, I'm 21 from BGC. Uh, but I grew up in London um, since I was a baby. How long are you in A little lang. Joke, joke. I'm just going to go Tagalog. Ko. Oh, yeah, oh, di ba? Di ba? Yeah, my mom raised me to, uh, to speak Tagalog when I was in London. So, <laughs> super direct. And then you grew up in London basically your whole life? Yeah, pretty much. So, what you made you decide to, you know, move uh, here to the Philippines? Well, I, fi I uh, studied film, media, and photography. I graduated in, uh, in London. So, it's my passion to, like, uh, to kind of make film, make short films, make stories and stuff. Be part of the industry. Yeah, be yeah. part of the industry. So, that's why I went home here. Um, that's cool. Yeah. So All right. Thank, thank you, you thank, so you. thank you, thank you very much. Today, we interviewed each and every one of them for at least five minutes, each of them. And, man, they're, they're all so great this year, you know? They, they bring so much to the table. Other people better watch out for them, you know? I'm Philip Alibertai, I'm half Chinese. I grew up here, but like, when I was younger, I would travel a lot with my parents. 
When my parents got divorced and I decided to stay with my mom here because the Philippines is really fun. Do you have any hobbies? Uh, yeah, I run almost every day. I read books, I play video games, watch movies. Oh, I used to play FIFA a lot. Mm -hmm. So more into you're the sports, a sports game. gamer. Yeah, more of sports. Okay, okay. Because I used to play football in high school, but I wasn't that good, so I thought, ah, oh, I better stop and just play FIFA. <laughs> Philip, thank you so much. Wait, hey. before I leave, can I say something? Yeah, of course. Kyla, I had a big crush on you before. Thank you. Allah Shah! Allah Shah! Allah Shah! That came out of nowhere, man. <laughs> Not all of them are full of confidence, but all of them have full of potential. Because I can see that some of them are still shy inside. But once they get past that shyness, it's greatness. I'm pretty nervous actually, but at the end of the day, if it's where you're meant to be, that's where you're going to be, and I hope that this is where I'm meant to be. I'm not putting too much thought into it because overthinking really won't get you anywhere. There's no point in worrying because that won't help anything. I did what I could, I did my best, and if I get in, well, thank God for that. First of all, we would like to congratulate you all on surviving your first day. Thank you guys for joining the SME Skosi. But unfortunately, only 14 of you will be the official finalist of this year's SME Skosi. So now we call your name. You guys will be the official candidates for this season. Kayo, would you want to do the honors? Thank you, Richard. Now the first person to compete is... Ethan. When my name was called, I was, you know, like brought back a bit because I was really flattered and just shocked in general, you know, and I'm just really happy that you guys picked me for this. So. Our next finalist is Chelsea. Please go on stage. Andre. You're in, Ariel. Congratulations, Jonas. Your journey continues. Shaylee. Kanina, yung natawag yung name ko, parang yung pronunciation pa is Shaylee. So para sino ba si Shaylee dito? Tapos yun, tapos ako pala. Please join the finalists, Mariah. Next up is Mac. Congratulations, Yaofa. Um, very unexpected po. Hindi ko po ina expect na makakapasok po ako sa top 14. And sobrang saya ko po nung nakapasok ako. And our next finalist is Justin. Up next, Danielle. You are moving forward, Marco. Also in Erica. I really thought that I wasn't going to make it, but thankfully I did, and now I'm here, and yay! And our last finalist for this season is. Claudio. For everyone that we didn't call, thank you guys so much for your time. 
It was great to meet all of you guys. I'm sure we're gonna cross path again one day. You guys did amazing. I wish you guys all the very, very, very best. So thank you again, guys. I'll see you guys later. I might lost the words. I'm like, I still can't believe I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> Being chosen as part of the finalists, I am shocked because I didn't expect this at all. Because from 50 to 30 and then now 14. I guess it's not meant to be right now. I can keep trying, try to develop myself more, but I think it was a pretty good experience overall, and I think I learned a lot from it. There's a lot of opportunities that will open the doors for me, and I can't wait for what's in store for all of us. Congratulations, guys, for being the official finalist of this year's SMU Go Scene. I know all of us will be celebrating tonight, but guys, don't get too excited because the competition has just begun. Good luck to you all, and we'll see you guys next week. My game plan for the competition is to commit myself fully to every challenge, um, especially try to get out of my comfort zone. I know a lot of these challenges will be really, really difficult, and uh, even if I don't win, at least I came out with knowing myself a bit better. My game plan is just to be myself and to be the best that I can be. I'm 100% sure na I can do this. So it was kind of sad to see most of them go, but with the top 14 that we chose, we're really, really happy and we're really, really excited to get to know each and every one of them. I know it can be a scary and nerve-wracking competition. Um, all the challenges and the pressure of being on the spotlight and giving it your all and just keep following your dream and I know everything that you want to achieve is possible. Monday next week, the Final 14 have made their first impressions and they are about to battle it out on the catwalk. It's Squad 1 versus Squad 2 who can walk the talk, and who will walk to the end of their journey. This is the SM Youth Go See.